Today at FullOnDrums.com, it's all about the toms. Today we're going to show you how to get maximum thunder from your toms. Let's begin with positioning. For a dynamic mic, a great place to start is about three fingers above the head and about three fingers inside the rim. That'll give you a great balance between tone and attack. If you need more attack out of the drum, you can angle it more towards the center and bring it down just a little bit. If you need to get more tone, you can angle it more towards the rim. Now we're going to swap out our dynamic mic that had a nice tight focus sound for a more open and articulate condenser. Since a condenser is more sensitive than a dynamic mic, you don't want to start too close to the head. And if your mic has a pad on it, you're probably going to want to use it. As with dynamic mics, you can use positioning to balance attack and tone. If you want more attack, position the mic more towards the center of the drum and bring it down a little. If you want more tone, you can position the mic more towards the rim. Even set to cardioid, condensers will have a wider pattern than most dynamics, which will give you more articulation and a more open sound, but will also have more bleed. If you need to get more low end out of the tom, you can use proximity effect to exaggerate the low end by dropping the mic closer to the head. So now we're going to set up the kit and demo a variety of different tom mics. So there you have it, eight flavors of toms. Now be sure to go to fullondrums.com and download the full band with multi-track audio files of everything you've just heard. And check out past episodes, interviews, articles, news, and reviews from around the drumosphere. So until next time, keep it on 10.